Take the things you learned from Adobe Flash, combine them with some of the things you learned from Adobe Dreamweaver, and also the things you would have learned from Adobe Fireworks. You get this new application from the Creative Cloud called Adobe Edge Animate. Now their tagline says that they create animated interactive HTML content for the modern web, but Adobe Edge has much more functionality than just that. Let's look to the left side of the screen first. This is where you'll end up having your open file menu, your create new edge project menu, create from template, and then to the right here there's recent files. So if we ended up having any prior projects, they would appear right down here for us to click on and open right away. And at the bottom of all of those recent files would be a clear button. So if we wanted to clear the recent files catch, we could right here. Now over to the right, there's four different tabs. Your first one is called What's New. This will tell you all the new updates in the specific release that you're running. And it'll also give you one summary sentences of each little thing that they changed. So that can come very helpful when you go from one system update to the next. Following that is the Getting Started tab. For those of you that love tutorials, here are a bunch of different videos and tutorials that you can follow in order to get a better understanding of Edge Animate from the get-go. Following that is the Resources tab. The Resources tab will let you be able to go to the Adobe website and find other tutorials and also watch tutorials from Adobe experts on Adobe TV. You can also download samples and learn more about JavaScript in here. Last but not least, there is this one called Quiet. As you can see, this space is intentionally left blank. That way, we don't have any extra clutter or any extra words trying to get in the way of us trying to concentrate and get our project started. This overall screen is called the Splash Screen. And every time you open Adobe Edge Animate or you close all your current projects, this splash screen will appear for you to be able to pick and choose what you want to do with the time being.